so I'm not going to try to draw anything. The only time I'm going to measure is once I get the first <clears throat> piece of wood glued down and in place. I'm just going to um, offset um, measure about what would be an inch and a half or 1.8 inches for a 24 foot wide road. Uh, 1.8 inches uh, off from that and then set the other <coughs> uh, piece of basswood down and glue that down into place. So that is the plan for now. Get a starting point here. Take a couple of brads and just stick them in here. Tap them in. Nothing too intense. I'm going to be able to pull them out fairly easily just to hold this in place. <coughs> and uh, you can see this uh, curves naturally, so I'm going to let that uh, work to my advantage in uh, forming the curve here. Uh, so let me put another brad right here. Go ahead and tap it in just to, just to hold it in place. Just like that for now. Temporarily. That's forming a nice natural curve. Having it go off into the distance. I'm gonna I think that'll that'll work okay. Let me trim this off here at the end. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, when I go, uh, when I actually put the water putty down, I'm gonna slip something in back there, some uh, card stock, shield the backdrop. <coughs> and this phase, if you already have a backdrop painted and you're still adding scenery, you'll want to basically protect your backdrop uh, pretty well. Um, I don't. I wouldn't. I, I would recommend cardstock, something fairly heavy. Uh, I think you, new, newspaper, especially if we're going to be spraying scenic cement, you want something that'll uh, won't allow it to soak through on the first spray. <coughs> or maybe even if you had just a cheap uh, plastic drop cloth and you could paint, you know, hang it up uh, along the back there. That's probably. I, I think that probably would be the best. So uh, let me see. Is that what I want? Curvature I want, yeah, I think so. Uh, actually, I think I could have done a little bit different. All right, let me just get this to line up the way I want to. Let me take that out. Put this in here. There, and a few strategically placed pins will hold your form in place. Pretty nicely, and uh, I think actually after I got this uh, <coughs> turn here, uh, you know, I think I can just weight this down, put glue down, and weight it down, and uh, be good to go with this. So let me go uh, break out my glue and some uh, weights and uh, get this all set up. Thin, thin layer of glue, nothing too intense, like that. Oop. Get my arm out of the way. Yeah, put a little drop here to hold this in place up top. <clears throat> yeah. A little bit more. Careful not to get it on the backdrop here. Okay. Just slip this back down. There we 
go. Now, weights, 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 weights. Okay, forgot all about that. Here, get your handy little can of water putty. That's a nice little weight. Let's see what other kind of weight we got. We got this hammer here. That's a good little weight. Put that down there. That should do well enough. And this is already. Find something else for here. So, like I said, we don't need a whole ton of glue. Just enough to stick this down so it'll hold in place. I can run a putty knife over it and uh, glue, uh, <coughs> fill it in with the uh, water putty. So let me find one more weight. No, oh, why not? Speaking of glue, talk about glue. Glue is also a weight. So, there you have it. Once this dries, I will uh, put the other um, piece of uh, basswood in for the other side and uh, I'll do the same. Once this dries some I'll uh, make the same kind of forms on the other side. So uh, that's it for the moment.